If you watch these videos fully, you can understand how a pro designer handles a design project, how each decisions are made and more knowledge you will get from these types of videos. This is the part 3 video, link to the part 1 is in the description below. Now I'm just going to put this to the top, all these white color boxes, you select them and put it to the top. Select these two and press Ctrl 7 to create the clipping mask, these two as well together, remember together and then Ctrl 7. Now double click to go inside the clipping mask and rearrange the image, just arrange the image like this. Now double click anywhere to go out of this, double click this. Do the same thing for every other image. Now for this I'm thinking I will give it uh, this purple, let's see how it goes. Also, one more thing, now there is a problem, I do not like the way how the building comes here. So we have to send it to the back, so let's select this, send it to the back. And when it goes back, this tower, top part of the tower, goes down as well. So this can be easily solved, what you have to do is copy the top part of the tower like this, okay. I mean create a rectangle on top. Take a copy of the tower, Control C, Control F, select that copy and select these two together. Now press Control 7 to create the clipping mask. See, all I have is something like this. So it's always on top. Now I have to put this one and the orange image background to the back and Control T for me to go to the trim view and I don't like the way how this one's color is purple how about white for now it's okay i guess maybe i could fill another image here i think maybe that would be an awesome idea not really sure okay yeah i think so because all these are single row of images so why don't we just go in here and pick a random image maybe this one copy reduce its size all the way down put this to the top select these two control 7 and send these to the back and just double click and rearrange okay that's cool looking yeah now we just have to look for the contrast see notice how there is too many dark spot here this image too now these two have really bad contrast but i think here this is a bright image this is a dark image i think that's good for this one you have to pick a very bright image and for this you have to pick a dark image that's already dark so the, if this can be a lighter image then the contrast will be really great so we will just go down and down how about this i'm not sure let's copy let's give it a try let's copy the image and all i have to do is have a look a tip for you double click select this delete it Control v to paste whatever you copied inside the mask itself how easy is that so i'm thinking if I put the border lines, create, not creating a contrast, right? What if I do something like this and make it a lot more bigger? Yeah, now as you can see, all these are nice and visible. Yeah, I have to do something for this one as well. But it doesn't matter for now. Yeah, one more thing, press Control 1 and have a look if these images are visible, right? So that after printout is taken, people will be able to easily see these images and identify them or see them what they are. So I think these are pretty good ones. Now I just have to think about adding the wordings. So let us just take a maybe a copy of this one. I'm just going to put it to white and I have to now decide where I can put this. Now keep in mind this can be done many many ways. One of the way is you can add a rectangle like this and then you can do something like this maybe for the last one known it yeah that is cool looking too now this is so modern looking if you can see but i am thinking let me also try to find out a different way so yeah that's a good idea so i'll just pick these two and keep it to a side delete them and let me just quickly try to find out more ways how i can do this maybe i can try to put this right here on top of this image if i give it a drop shadow of course it will be much visible but that's a bad idea most of the time as you can see it disturbs the images view that's really bad also i could do like this i can rotate this 45 degrees 
um, let me just double click on this clipping mask select this path this path control c double click out control uh, f2 paste it reduce its size put this on the top okay select that line and just give it a color maybe this yeah something like this you can do too really nice yeah i think this is also okay idea okay fine uh but i'm thinking i will give this a border these three images a border like this i'll create just an outline increase the thickness maybe on the border itself i can give add the you know wording so let, let me put the wording there and what should be the color of the border maybe orange so i don't know how this is going to look so i'll just quickly do and see how that goes how about white so let me select white i think white for me is okay for now so i think i'll stick with white and this text color maybe can be purple and also it's way too a thin so i just made it bold i'll reduce its size and thickness of this can be much more bigger did i select it right no i have selected the wrong one i'll select it and give it a much more higher thickness uh, like 26 for the other two as well but i will delete the other two hold down alt and click drag like this now for this as you can see this is way too much of a bigger so when we make it small it's a problem so let's take the advantage of this space let let me delete it give this the same size as this one so i'm just going to increase the thickness of this much as possible i think a lot more a lot more then put it down like this maybe then we can set this to be in two lines and remember to center them as well and then this one is bit more smaller or oh, why don't i put in three lines itself three lines i would like to increase the line height and then give the same size as the other one maybe it doesn't have to be centered it can be like this like i'm thinking i'll center that itself okay like this okay i'm happy with all of this but this one seems to be way too bigger because it's touching the borders which is not good so i'll make it a little bit small maybe overall more smaller and the same font i will apply it to this and this as well all right now look at this this is another issue try to you know move this here and there and see if you can solve the problem or maybe put it some more down or just arrange them slightly that's all nothing much so i just want to pull the tower a little more more to the top but i will fix this later in photoshop okay so if i can add the mask if I can add a smooth mask, I can fix this problem easily in Photoshop. So the tower looks uh, more filled in this area. I really like that. Now you can just add some, you know, footer at the bottom. So I'm just going to type in your fake email at gmail.com. I'm also going to give a number. Yeah, this is my phone number. No, I'm just kidding. This is not my phone number. So what you can do is if you need to add icons to this, what you can do is just go in here and go to this website flat icon and then search for call or phone or location or email. I'm just going to search for call. And then let me pick this one right here and then go to PNG free download. I just took it in this is just a photo but you can trace it as a vector you, you have to go to object image trace so find here image trace and then make an expand as you can see this is now you just have to ungroup this delete the white parts this is a cool looking icon now you can just reduce the size maybe give it orange or not i think white itself is cool since these are not visible let's add a gradient so i'm just going to add a gradient i'll raise the opacity a little bit until this are these are much visible okay i'm cool with that number i'm also going to take a copy of this so that maybe i can I can uh, imitate what I have done. 
many years back which I really don't like this effect let me just select it uh, put it to the top and then try it a bit okay something like this that's way too much let us not give that much maybe a little bit little bit okay if that's what you like but I am totally against it uh, I'm also trying to give the same thing down here if you want you can give this but yeah very subtle it's not that visible at all I have to do one more thing here in Photoshop these lights right here I just have to delete them this one too because here white on white that is not going to be that visible right so that's something that I will definitely fix if this is going to be my final version yeah now I will just move move this okay now I'll just take a copy of this entire thing and quickly select this and delete I just want to show you this version as well so you already have seen this so this is another way of a modern approach how you can go but I don't like this for now because it's hiding the tower maybe you can just uh, try to place them in different places maybe here that it doesn't hide the tower that much or if you can put the tower furthermore up extend this part in Photoshop then you will have a chance to put these ones like this I think I like this one a lot this is more of a modern approach compared to this one now this is nice but I'm thinking this is also nice so let me know what your thoughts in the comment down below if you really think you have learned something from this video then please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this